Today, we're going to be giving you guys the best jump slash nerdy spots, rush routes, nade spots, and even post bomb plants for search and destroy. I'm about to blow your mind, so pull out the notepad and take notes. Likes are much appreciated, but let's get right into the video. We're going to start off with the B bomb area. So if you did not know, you can actually jump on top of this roof, but it requires a mantle. And once you're up here, that's the only way to actually get up here is by mantling on the side of this roof. It can't be at the start. It has to be around this area. But here's a little funny thing about this. There is also another way to mantle back. If you land on this, you can actually mantle up and go back up. You cannot do that anywhere else. For example, for that reason, it's because I cannot jump back here just from sprinting. So therefore, I'm not able to repeat that. Instead, I have to go back here and do repeat the motion again. But something to note, this is obviously a very good spot to kind of camp, play for a kill, and especially when defending the bomb. I'm about to blow your mind with this next jump spot, which is going to be climbing up here. Yes, you can actually do that. So there's two ways to do that. You jump on this dumpster, you jump on this wall, and then you're going to want to mantle in this window just like that. It's kind of crazy. A lot of people didn't know about this one. But I found another way to do it, and it's slightly easier because it keeps you, I guess, less exposed. You actually want to mantle, and it's probably fast. You want to mantle on this. It doesn't require you to mantle on the wall. You're going to kind of strafe jump onto the wall. You're going to run up against along the wall, and boom. You're, I think you just hop up and do the mantle again. So both ways are, you know, you can do it either way, whichever uh, fits your style, but it's actually pretty cool. Another nice little jump spot right here into secret tip, this little telephone pole. So like when you're hitting B or just hitting this area, obviously you're kind of exposed to this angle here. And if someone is kind of holding a premium here or maybe camping here, it's kind of hard to fight that guy, right? So what you can actually do is you can jump on this little flower pot. You jump on the telephone booth and now you have a head glitch, but you can counter counter. You see how you can counter this guy. So this is a really nice little jump spot to hit B or like just hit this area. It doesn't have to be necessarily in search and destroy. Once you master it, I mean, it's very quick. It's like two little hops and you see how this is good of a spot. And then once you do this, if you see nothing here, you can always jump up, clear this out, clear this out. And you're in such a good spot because people expect you to be low, not high. Another cool little spot that a lot of people didn't know about is this spot right here. This is obviously pretty good to like kind of be ready on the flank. You can kind of sit here if you want to watch the late B pinch or just watch this. You, you can see them run across your full flank or run through the doors. So you kind of have full flank and the B side. Obviously, if someone comes through here. You got to get ready to snap on that guy. It's a little cheesy spot. Not many people know about it. You can also get along this line of this pole. And the funny thing about this map is you can do this almost any part that you can mantle on on the wall. As long as you go to the edge of it like this, you can do this on the column. So, for example, I could do it right here as well. You can do the same thing. You kind of hold this. It's kind of cheesy, but you see how as long as I'm holding the edge, I'm going to show you some more spots. It's pretty OP. Now, a couple angles to know over here. When you first spawn, a good jump spot to do is you can actually jump on this little, um, I don't know what you call it, but you jump back. You kind of, you can go on top of this ledge again and on the wall. And then you see how you have all down to mid. This is a specifically good with a sniper. Or if you want to try to get a pick with an AR right away, you have your CAO teammates. I have all your mid in your flank because obviously you have their flank. Uh, normally, I mean, someone will flank right away, but you basically have all of mid. It's a nice little cheesy spot way to get it right away from deep. Uh, another pretty cool and good thing you can do is actually, I'm just doing it this way, but you can do it either, either way, is you can jump on top of this, the RV. And then you know how a lot of people sit on this van head glitch here? If you have a sniper or even an AR, you can kind of pick this guy right here through this crack, through the tree crack. Or you can easily just hold mid from here as well. Uh, whichever floats your boat, it's a nice little spot as well. A nice little spot as well, if you're trying to watch flank and kind of the mid flank, is you can actually send this truck right here. You obviously have the mid push. They might not even see you run by. You just peek out, kill them. Or if not, you can kill them here. You also have the whole cross. You have kind of their feet. You can kind of see them running around. So you can see them either, you're going to see them cross, wrap around, or you're going to see them kind of run back to you. You're going to see their feet and you just get ready to kill them. It's a nice little cheesy spot. But moving on to this next spot, this is what I was talking about the wall. So to show you what I'm saying, you can jump on this wall right here. You can get to this ledge and you see how I can do this now. And now I have all of flank. This is a nice little cheesy flank spot because obviously they're not going to expect you to be here. You can easily kill this guy. This guy pinches. You can kill this guy. This guy is not coming around the corner. Probably checking this, kill this guy. So it's another nice little cheesy spot. But what I was trying to tell you guys is you can do it like almost any of, the, of these columns as long as you do it safely and correctly. Uh, you see, for example, I could be right here. If I want to run down, I could be right here as well. Gotta be careful. And you can do it along all of these walls. You're like a freaking ninja. If you want to sit right here, you can as well. These spots can obviously, this is a good way to like kind of camp. If you want to watch the push through for A, 
I mean, this is a really good spot. No one is checking up here immediately. This guy comes out of the door, free kill. This guy peeks up. You have a high ground. It's not like you're playing from low. So you can clearly see him, kill him. This guy comes low. You're just in a really good spot for this. So if you did not know, you can actually go on top of this tarp. The only way to actually do it is from up here because unfortunately you cannot mantle this. It's a little thing to kind of note. And you can kind of do this. You can hop around these tarps and kind of flank their side. Uh, for example, if I try to jump over here, I'm not going to be able to. Another nice little jump spot is right here. A lot of people don't know this. You have to slowly climb on top of the chair. You're going to feel the height go down to up. And then you're going to hop up on this. Now, the thing about this is you can't jump on this one right away. So you jump on this one. And now you have a head glitch. You have the second story. You can jump on this one as well. You want to hold this angle. You can even, like I said, kind of camp the ledge of the wall. And now you have the whole push through. You have kind of, they won't really check under you. And you have the whole push through, which is really cool. You can even lay down, play your ratty so they don't, they don't suspect you, see you. Uh, another cool jump you can actually do that I just found out now is you can actually jump backwards to that one and flank their top. So to do this, you obviously have to jump from here to this one. And then you kind of got to strafe jump it. For the next jump spot, if you did not know, it's going to be the secret one here by this table. You see this telephone booth? You want to hop on a table, hop on a telephone booth. And now what you can do is kind of hop on top of this. You jump back down. Now, there's multiple ways you can play this. You can kind of sit behind this umbrella. Um, you can kind of like just sit on top of it, crouch. You kind of you have their wrap back. You have this guy coming to close left. You have the tunnel. You can kind of just sit like this. Uh, obviously, you're ready for a fight in their side. So this is a really nice cheesy spot. Again, this goes back to you can jump up. You can play corners of the wall. You got to be very careful, though, because you might die. But no one's really expecting to check check this spot right here. Like no one's going to come up there and check that corner, you know, up on the wall. That's the thing about this map is like they have a lot of these spots and no one is really going to check them. Um, you're just kind of ready to fight anybody here. So if you did not know, there's a little uh, crazy corner angle here. People love to run through this mid tunnel back and forth, especially with dead silence. A lot of the times we're expecting this gunfight or this head glitch right here. But a little cheesy spot is if you lay right here, you can actually see the guy's legs crossing and be prepared for the gunfight. It's a nice little spot to kind of catch your opponent off guard and not ready for the gunfight. So there's a couple rush routes you can do in the beginning of an offense. If you want to, one, have your knife. Two, you want to have double time equipped so you have the most uh, tactical sprint possible. And the, for the first one is you want to rush through these doors. And I'm going to tell you why later, but basically nades can get thrown in this alley. You want to hug this wall. Break down this door. As soon as you bust down this door, what you're going to do is you want to strafe jump onto the table and you're going to hold your window angle. Now, what this does is one, you have an off angle on the window if he decides to peek. Two, if he comes out the door, you can resnap on the door and you're just you're hugging a wall, right? You have both angles pretty much, but mostly people challenge the window. And uh, one of the biggest things is you're doing is, well, if you cut that off, these guys can't go top or bottom. So, you already have two parts of this building cut off. You have top, top and bottom cut off because you're cutting off the staircase. Now they can do this jump. A lot of times people do this jump though, if they do it correctly. And they're usually just going to stay here. They're not really going to commit to top. They do sort of have top, but they won't fully have top. So that's something to keep note of. But that's what you're doing. Another way to do this rush, if you're getting countered maybe, is instead of fully commit to wide, because sometimes you might get double teamed. Sometimes you need a teammate. Uh, one thing you can do is if they decide to challenge you, you do this and you preempt this door because sometimes people are going to try to counter you and just challenge this door, which I'll be showing you on the other side. But that is something to keep note of. So you can just press up on the door, hold this angle, or if it's two of you, first guy wide, second guy, hold door. And you guys are ready for the challenge to challenge both of these guys. Even though this is pretty obvious, you're going to do the same rush for this one. And then instead, you're going to challenge the A bomb. So if your teammates are challenging bottom, you can challenge the A-bomb. You can throw a flash or stun here because sometimes uh, you will have players in the spot kind of sitting right here in his head or even jump up top and kind of watch the push. So you kind of want to stun. You want to stun low in case he's here, in case he's in this spot, or you want to just be able to get information. Another rush route, and you can do this with a teammate because it will be better, but you don't always need a teammate, is you're going to want to pull your knife. You're going to want to rush down mid. Hopefully... You know, you want you want a teammate to hopefully look over you. They can sit right here or they can sit over in this wall and basically pre-aim over you, throw a nade probably, and just gain information for you. Kind of have your mid lock down, making sure they're not on this head glitch. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to pull your knife out. You're going to rush down mid. You're going to jump on top of this box here. You're going to full send here. And then we'll, as soon as you get here, you're going to want to jump. So right here, you can see the head glitch we were talking about earlier. You can see if someone, our te your teammate will have this head glitch. 
and you you peek this head glitch is if, if he's here there's two things you can do you can one tell your teammate to help you or you can just jump out challenge him kill him and then rush down mid best case scenario there's no one on that head glitch or your teammates distract another guy uh you can pop the sounds for this obviously boom you just flank down the tunnel right away and you have a pinch on these guys you can hug this corner if this guy's out here camping kill him if he's pushed in your teammates will take care of him you killed you take care of this guy and for the b rush for the last one you obviously could throw a nade down mid if you want to just to get them uh, distracted but you're gonna want to pull your knife again rush rush to the right and there's two things you can do here you can either wide challenge and hold this door by the time you get here they're pretty much going to be getting here at the same time so it's going to be like a 50 50 gunfight so you have to be ready for this gunfight uh but you can like kind of you can go wide here kind of challenge the door go for the fight i'm pretty sure you beat them here by a second though so if, as long as you come out here to the right and you wide peek it you should be able to pre-aim them and win the gunfight another way you can do it is hug this wall jump up here and then play the off angle and if he peeks here you can obviously just snap on him and have an off angle on him so you're like in a good spot as well so when spawning on defense you obviously want to try to get your a control so a couple things you can do it's basically you think away the way you want to think about it is countering the a site so you can pull out your knife rush here rush here and then you can go to the window and pre-aim this gunfight now this gunfight is going to be a little bit difficult so you kind of want to pre-aim and get ready for a fight here another way to do it is obviously again you rush to a and instead of doing that and we talked about the door before you immediately go for the door bus and you challenge the guy who's going to be potentially at the door you have to do it very quickly so you're going to want to do pull out your knife and just challenge right away because if he decides to commit he's going to be around here by the time you open that door and he might be ready for you your goal is to kind of catch him off guard and get ready to kill him if not you're obviously going to be in trouble another rush right you can do is the same thing instead of busting out the door you can pop dead silence and work down this left alley something to keep note of is sometimes your last teammate will hold this pinch and kind of play it like this and be ready for this gunfight so you cannot just blindly you know try to flank this you're gonna have to get ready for the gunfight and you know kind of preem this just challenge out another route that you could do is you can go left to b now this is a good b defense rush pull out your knife double time and like i said before your goal is to kind of cut them off here so you kind of want to get first shot or first angle on them get here quickly and something you can do is kind of hug this wall here if anything if you feel like no one's insta hitting you you can kind of get on this wall here hug it and then pre-aim this door and you also have the off angle push so if they start creeping up they're not going to see you you have your right door you can also snap on this guy if he comes in the one thing is i won't really recommend hitting down mid on defense because it's kind of a death trap and unless done correctly with so much teamwork and support you're probably not going to get away with it so if you're going to hit anything fast a or b now let's get into the nade spots if you want to nade their a alley rush a way to do it is off spawn you're going to want to rush up until this uh sidewalk right here and this first pillar right here you're going to want to nade over uh you can aim it for a little higher but it's basically going to land back on their right alley here and it's going to stop a lot of people like rushing you see it landed right here the goal is to pretty much get them weak if you if you have multiple teammates throwing it you might get a kill or just get them weak and slow them down that's honestly the key a lot of times people are going to be running flag jacket now something else you can do to slow down their push is obviously push up to here as soon as you get here you want to hold this stun and you want to bank it off this wall and what that's going to do is you can bank it off high you just got to make sure you bounces off that wall or you can bank it off low and what's going to do it's going to stun that guy trying to rush right away and it's going to slow them down and obviously if they're coming down mid nades you can do is if you want to nade them cold in their head glitch or about to hit mid you nade over it between both of these doors so if for example you want to rush up there starts around you want to get to like right here and then you want to throw a nade over because they're going to be hitting down mid and the goal should be should basically nade them on their middle area obviously i think i throw that a little too far um but you if you throw it high enough it's going to land around this area right here and it's going to hit them if you want to kind of land on this head glitch then you just line it up all the way but normally people are going to be rushing down the mid like this on offense when you're going to be hitting the a site you obviously again vice versa you want to slow them down or even maybe get a first blood when you're rushing them so a nade you can do is you're going to want to go to this corner of this i guess red tarp and as soon as you get close you're going to want to throw it over uh the building so it will look something like this you spawn up you're like hey i'm going for the nade you throw it high you do not have to jump but you can jump and it's gonna land basically like in their alleyway right here for the final nade spot basically what you want to do is 
a lot of times people are going to be playing their van right off the rip and kind of holding mid so if you have a teammate hitting mid or you want to potentially go b throwing that nade mid is obviously really good because they're going to either go mid to b or they're just going to kind of hold mid from b or hold mid and then wrap to b if they need to so you obviously can go like for example if you want to hit the truck or just hit mid map uh let's see you wrap back to your right over here to the right and then you just kind of line it up and then obviously just toss it over and then your goal is to basically hit that the, the van and blow it up so when planning a obviously planning the safest spot would be here away from tunnel because as you're planning you can kind of peek up and down in a tunnel making sure you're good but there's obviously better spots to plan it so you can kind of clutch easier the thing about this bomb is when you don't have that silence getting information on it and peeking it can be quite difficult so one pl good place to plan it is actually wide left right here and there's various reasons for this so if you plan it kind of wide left right here um one it's very hard for them to kill you off it just by a regular planning you can kind of see the angle if you see him you run but if you can get it down right here it's a very tight angle once this bomb is down it's very out to the left so there's two things one you can actually see the bomb from their spawn over here so you can kind of play this angle get bomb checks bomb is good okay you can keep playing timings kind of hold this like our right, let me go back it's time to check one more time okay bomb is good and it also you can also play in the a building and not have to overextend because a lot of times when a bomb is planted here you have to do this right you have to run out the door oh my god he's on the bomb instead you can easily check from the building you can open the door bomb's good let me go top again use this spot go right here bomb looks good and you see how you don't have to overextend without that silence and get picked off and easily traded so planning a wide left is pretty much the go-to spot now when it comes to b bomb plant there's two things one obviously again planning it away from mid if you if your teammates gets control of this building and they're up top and kind of have your right and your left and everything planning away from mid is your, your safe spot like this is where you kind of want to plan away from right like you don't want to be exposed to front especially if your teammates have your right and uh your dark alley so this is going to be the go-to plant spot you can obviously go to your base you can get checks it's very easy to defend but if you're ever like in a 1v1 cl clutch situation or 1v2 and you and you have a chance to kind of plan it for the best clutch possible well planning it from here it, it can be kind of difficult because then you have to just camp their building so another good spot to honestly plan it is right here so the reason this is really good to plan it right here is for two reasons okay uh this is going to be a very good clutch spot to check bombs so whether you wrap their base or you push through l uh over here uh one thing is like you can come right here and you can obviously get bomb checks really easily um obviously if you're behind the bomb you can still kind of check it but this is uh this is obviously like pretty out in the open as well but that's not the biggest thing the craziest thing about this especially if you have an ar is if you get to their tunnel now you have a crazy bomb check right here so you can have full eyes on the bomb and they're going to be running around looking for you oh my god where is he you can check right here and easily get this kill um this is funny enough this is like a mini head glitch right here in a way but you can even just like like all right let me check bomb you're gonna prone prone peek it nothing okay you just kind of sit here and they're just running around looking for you and you can back off the tunnel for a second and they go back and play timings five seconds later let me check it again all right it's good you hide again and it's just a really good clutch spot thank you guys so much for watching the video it's another little cheeky spot here if you did not know about this one make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it comment down below what map you guys would like me to do next or even if you want me to do this at all if you really enjoyed the content I can do some more mercado is more simple it's very basic but i felt like i still gave you a lot of jump spots some little some little rush routes some nades some ball post bomb plants if it really helped you again drop that like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video i have more content on my channel some more tips so go check those out and as well i stream on twitch.tv apathy pretty much every day so come watch me live have a good day